Greetings, my name is Danielle Pai, and in the last video, I shared that I spent the first 19 years growing up in a cult. I'd like to talk a little bit about the aftermath of leaving, and if you grew up in a strict environment, you might relate to this. So my first order of business was go to New York, go to the big city and rebel. I got a tattoo and then another one. Kind of regret them both. Started drinking a lot and staying out till 4 a.m. because I could. I tried taking up smoking. I got bronchial pneumonia and I tried to be a social smoker for years after. It never worked. I always got sick. Got a boyfriend because in our church, you were supposed to date as a group. And when it came time to meeting someone, the dating and get married, say the dating pool was really small because you had to find somebody in your church and you were not allowed to date outside of your race. So it was same race, same religion. So I got a boyfriend. Wasn't the right boyfriend. <laughs> I wasn't good for him. He wasn't good for me. Um, I probably wasn't emotionally ready because I had no real social guidance. At 19, I didn't grow up with the same social experiences that other kids did. Fast forward a couple of years, then I went to the other extreme and I wanted to study every religion, every belief system. I went back to school. I started taking care of myself physically, eating healthier and exercising. And there were a lot of good things that came out of that. But the downside was never being enough. I could never have enough degrees. I could never have enough certifications. I could never produce enough where I was happy with what I had accomplished. So now I'm coming to you from that place in the middle where I accomplish a lot, but I'm also proud of what I've accomplished. It's a life in balance, a life in moderation, and a life that is built the way I want it to be built for me. So if you find in your own life Perhaps you've gone through those similar things and you're having trouble finding that balance in what you want for yourself that's healthy for you, both physically, emotionally, mentally. I encourage you to visit the website at the bottom here, send me a message, and let's have a conversation. I've said this before. It took me decades to figure things out. I would like to save you a lot of time. And I'd like to be there to support you so that you can create the life that you want for yourself. So let's have a conversation.